Namaste and welcome everyone on behalf of Indian Social Club Muscat Sanskrit being wellness arm This event is a part of 75 days 75 events maha also celebration pertaining to our 75th independence day celebration arranged by Indian Embassy Sultanate of Oman I am Venkat Indian Social Club Sanskrit being member myself along with my fellow members Mr Sharma and Mr Joshi are going to present this yoga session with a special focus on thyroid health Let us know about thyroid health now. Thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped gland located in our neck, front side, like a wrap in our windpipe. You can see in our diagram. Regarding its function, thyroid gland secretes two hormones, namely T3 and T4. These two hormones are responsible for the control of our body metabolism, like body, our body temperature, body weight, our body growth. our breathing pattern heart beat rate bone and muscular strength and calorie management what is thyroid disorder when there is a abnormal secretion of t3 and t4 it's called hyperthyroidism when there is a shortage or lesser secretion of t3 and t4 it is called hypothyroidism so What are all the root causes for thyroid issues? This is told that root medically, iodine deficiency or food food intake, stress in our daily lifestyle, and weakening of thyroid gland deficiency. How to overcome this thyroid issues? First and foremost is reducing stress in our daily lifestyle. Second important is performing yoga asana and pranayama. which helps to stimulate the function of our thyroid gland third one following healthy lifestyle eating healthy and balanced sattvic food combined with adequate iodine improving physical activity so let us move on to the session let us start with sloga chanting i will chant you please repeat after me come in prarthan position close your eyes I will chant the mantra you repeat after me Om Chang Chatvam Sambadadvam Sambo Manasi Janatam Deva Bhagam Yada Purve Sanjanana Upasate Sanjanana upasati Sanjanana upasati Keep your eye closed feel and enjoy the vibration of the mantra what you chanted now After a while open your eyes Come on standing posture let us move on to warm up exercise warm up and loosening exercise is very essential before performing any yoga asana because loosening of muscle and bone joints very essential to perform yoga asana very efficiently and effectively let us move on next exercise first leg shoulder with apart hands on your hip forward bending backward stretching exhale bend forward with inhalation Stretch back. Exhalation. Bend forward. Inhalation. Stretch backward. Come back to normal position. Sideways dropping. With exhalation, drop towards your, drop your head towards your right shoulder. Without raising shoulder, try to touch your ears on your shoulder. With inhalation, come back to normal position. Now, with exhalation, drop towards your left side. Come back to normal position. Now, second cycle towards right side. Come back to normal. Now, towards left side. Come back to normal position. Now, neck turning. With exhalation, turn your head towards your right side. Your chin is parallel to your right shoulder. With inhalation, come back to center. 
now go now towards left side exhale and turn towards left side left chin is closer to your left shoulder come back to normal position now second cycle towards right side come back to center again now finally towards left side come back to center now we'll do neck rotation anti clockwise three times slowly and steadily with exhalation bend forward rotate anti clockwise while rising up your inhale while bending forward you have to exhale slow and steady three rounds now opposite three rounds come back now we'll move on to shoulder exercise extend your hand sideways sideways bring your fingers and keep it on your shoulder elbow extend forward elbow touching each other front to back rotation three times back to front three times elbow Exercise. Keep your arms up to elbow, close to your body. Extend your hand frontwise. Rotate it anti-clockwise three times. Clockwise three times. Now move on to wrist. Extend your hand. Make fist up your hand. Rotate from out to in three times. Into out three times. Finger flipping. Extend your hand. Stretch your fingers nicely, as if you are removing a rubber band. Five, six times. Come back. Upper body stretching. Join your legs. Raise your palms sideways. Sideways. Raise your palms up. Palm facing opposite each other. Stretch out your upper body as if somebody is pulling from up. Feel the stretch in your spine. Slowly drop down. Let us repeat once more. Inhalation. Raise your palm and up. Stretch out up maximum. Now slowly drop down. Now sideways stretching. Keep your legs little more than your shoulder width apart. Left palm on the base of your spine. Right palm up. Raise your right palm. take rest your head until you your body towards upper body towards the left side your right bicep is touching your right ears look at by looking at your palm stretch towards the left side come back to center now opposite side right palm up to the spine base of your spine the palm up stretch towards your right side come back let's repeat one more time right palm up stretch your your left side come back finally left palm up stretch your your right side come back bring your legs Shoulder width apart. Now upper body tongue twisting. Extend your hand front. Twist your upper body towards the right side. Extend your hand, right hand behind, and left hand along your right hand. 
keep your left arm over your right shoulder look back slowly come back now other side to your left side stretch out your left hand fully right hand right finger over your left shoulder and uh, looking back Repeat one more round. Two side side. Come back to center. Two step side. Come back. Drop your hands. I will move on to hip rotation. Keep your hands on your hip. Legs slightly more than shoulder width apart. Rotate your hips. Times anti clockwise, anti clockwise three times. Come back. Now for knee, join your legs, raise your right knee, right thigh parallel to ground, hands on your hip, extend out and stretch out nicely and fold it three times. leg bring your right leg right thigh parallel to ground stretch out your left leg fold nicely three times our ankle rotation lift your right leg thigh parallel to ground up and down ankle five times clockwise rotation anti clockwise rotation five times clockwise rotation five times Leg up and down five times. Anti-clockwise rotation five times. Clockwise rotation five times. Standing asanas. So first asana is going to be tadasan. Precaution for tadasan is people with static acid avoid or do with care. Keep your legs two inch apart. Join your heels. Open up your toes outside nicely. Extend your head frontward. Interlock your fingers. Invert it. Rise above your head. And try to raise your heels. If possible, look up. Hold this posture for five to ten counts, or up to your limit. Once you. Reach your limit. Slowly lower down your heel and release your hands from side wise. Let's perform again. Heel touching each other. Extend your hand front side. Interlock your fingers. Invert it. Raise your hands up. With inhalation, raise your heel. Stand on your toes. If possible, look up. Hold this posture for five to ten counts. Or up to your limit. Once you reach your limit, slowly lower down your heel, release your hands, and come to samasthiti. Benefit of benefit of this asana is this, in, this improves the performance of your thyroid gland. It improves the posture and concentration. Now we'll move on to second asana, artha sakrasan. Come to sideways posture. Keep your legs shoulder width apart. Place your hands on your waist. With inhalation, drop your head back and try to bring your elbows close to each other and push your middle portion of your body frontward. Hold this posture for five to ten counts. Once you reach a limit, slowly raise your head up and release your hands. Let's perform second round. Keep your hands on your waist. With inhalation, drop your head backward and try to bring your elbows parallel to each other and push your middle portion of your body frontward. Hold this posture for five to ten counts. So up to your limit. Once you reach your limit, slowly raise your head up and release your hands. 
benefit of this asana is this improves the performance of thyroid gland it increases the neck strength and abdominal muscle strength now we will move on to our third asana trigonasana keep your legs double the shoulder more than double with double the shoulder width precaution for this asana is people with low bp and migraine should avoid or do with care now raise your hands arms up palm facing downward both hands up right foot out open your right foot lock your left foot nicely spread your right hand on your right ankle and try to place on the floor and look up hold this posture for 5 to 10 counts once you reach your limit slowly rise up and drop your hands and release your foot locking now towards other side open your left foot open your arms up hands parallel to ground palm facing downward slide your left hand towards your left ankle and look at your right thumb hold this posture for 5 to 10 counts start at your limit now slowly rise up and drop your hands sun come to samasthiti with this we completed standing asanas let's move on to sitting posture asanas let us start our sitting asana go in vishramasan hands behind fingers pointing outwards spread your legs feet fingers pointing outwards drop your head gently and relax next let us perform janu sirasan precaution for this asana people with asthma and low back injury avoid it or do with care so now let us start performing this asana come in dandasan fold your right leg keep it close to the perineum inhale raise both the hands up exhale bend forward from your navel slowly first try to hold your ankle then further bend with exhalation and try to hold your feet with each exhalation try to bend further until your head forehead reaches to the knee hold the final posture for 10 to 15 seconds with normal breathing so after you reach your limit with inhalation raise both the hands up and release your hands with exhalation from side now straighten your right leg now fold your left leg keep it close to the perineum inhale raise both the hands up exhale bend forward try to hold your hands ankle or hold the feet from behind hold the final posture for 10 to 15 seconds once you reach your limit slowly with inhalation come up and release your hand from the side and release your leg and relax in vishramasan the benefit of this asana it improves the performance of the thyroid gland and also the liver function and the kidney function let us next let us move on to vajrasan people with ankle or knee problem do it carefully fold your right leg then fold your left leg sit between your heels knees together hands on your lap back upright chin parallel to floor close your eyes be in this posture for 5 to 10 seconds Next let us we'll be performing Purna Ushrasan people with arthritis and hernia and abdominal injury avoid this asana for this come on your knees extend the both the hands in the front palm facing down now take your right hand looking at your right hand catch hold of your right ankle left hand to the left ankle drop your head and push your chest front forward 
hold the final posture with normal breathing. This is one of the asana where the full body part is involved. Once you reach your limit, release your left hand, then right hand and go in Vajrasana. Next, let us perform Majrasan. Precaution for Majrasan. People with knee injury and neck problem avoid doing this. Come on your forelimbs. Your leg and the hands are perpendicular to the body. With inhalation, raise your head up and put some pressure on your spine in downward direction. Hold this posture for 5 to 10 seconds. Exhale, head down, spine up. Your head will be between your arms. Let us repeat. Inhale, head up, spine down. And exhale, head down, spine up. Vajrasan. Release your Vajrasan. Go in Vishramasan. We are completed with sitting Poshasanas. Let us start our prone Poshasanas. Go in Makrasan. Left palm down, right palm over the left palm. Forehead resting on your back of your right palm. Spread your legs comfortably, feet fingers pointing outwards. This is one of the relaxing asana. People with low BP should do with care because this asana reduces the BP instantly. For any prone posture asanas, people with recent abdominal surgery or hernia should do with care. Let us start with Bhujangasana. For this, join your legs together. Place your palm close to your armpit. Inhale. Raise your upper body from the navel. Your hand will be slightly bent and close to the body. Stretch your neck nicely. Look up. Close your eyes. As this asana stretches your neck part, so it activates the thyroid gland. So once you reach your limit, slowly with exhalation, bring your upper body down and go in Makrasana. Next let us perform Purna Salabhasan. So take your palm under your thigh. Join your legs together. With inhalation, raise your legs and also your head. Keep your knees straight. Try to hold the final posture for 10 to 15 seconds. People with low back problem can do with one leg. After 10 to 15 seconds, slowly bring your head down and release your leg and relax. Next, let us perform Danurasan. Precaution for this asana, people with BP issue, migraine or neck injury do it with care. Bend your legs. Catch hold of your respective ankles. Inhale. Raise your thighs first. Then raise your head. Look up. And close your eyes. Hold the final posture with a normal breathing. Concentrate on your breath. 
This is one of the asana where the full body pops are involved. After 10 to 15 seconds, slowly take your head down and release your leg and go in Makrasan and relax. We are completed with prone poshasanas. Let us move on to supine poshasanas. Go on your back. Let us start with Sedu Bandhasan. The precaution for Sedu Bandhasan, people with the neck and knee or spondylitis should do carefully or avoid it. So now bend your knees, knees are shoulder width apart, bring it close to your hip, catch hold of your respective ankles, if you are not able to hold, try to touch, inhale, raise the middle portion of your body until your chin touches to the softer portion of your neck, after reaching the final posture, don't move your neck, now your full body load will be on your shoulder and your elbow. Hold the final posture for 10 to 15 seconds. This asana improves the function of the lungs and digestive system. And also it's a very good asana for thyroid. Once after you reach your limit, slowly lower down your hip and release your leg. Release your right leg, then the left leg and relax. Next we will be performing counter push asanas that is Mati Asan. Precaution for this asan, people with high BP or back injury or hernia should avoid it. Now join your legs together, take your palm under your thigh, palm facing down with the support of your elbow. Raise your upper body and place your top of the head on the floor. The head will be freely dropped. The full load will be on your elbow. You can feel the nice stretch in the throat region. Hold the final posture with a normal breathing for 10 to 15 seconds. Once you reach your limit, with the support of your elbow, raise your head up and place your upper body down and release your hand and relax your legs. Next let us perform Adha Alasan. People with sciatica, high BP, a back problem or enlarged thyroid should avoid this asana. First join your legs together. Keep your hands close to the body, palm facing down. Now raise up both the legs with inhalation slowly to 30 degree, then to 60 and 290 degree without any jerk. Try to keep your knee straight. If it is not straight, with the help of your hands, make it straight. And hold the final posture for 10 to 15 seconds. Relax. Slowly with exhalation, lower down your both the legs. 60, 30, and to the floor. Now relax. Next, let us perform Pavana Muktasan. For the join the legs together, fold your legs. Both the knees close to your chest. 
interlock your fingers and clasp it around your knees inhale raise your upper body up and relax your shoulder try to touch your forehead or the chin to the knees in the final posture the knees will be touching together the feet fingers will be pointing in the front shoulder relaxed hold it for 10 to 15 seconds so reach your limit slowly lower down your head and release your leg release your right leg and the left leg and relax in supine posture we are completed with supai poshasanas let us go in anandasan for 2 minutes spread your legs comfortably feet fingers pointing outwards palm facing the sky half closed like a newborn baby chin closer to the chest close eyes gently Now let us intentionally relax each and every part of our body from the tip of the toe. Release and relax your feet ankles. Calf muscles. Knees. Thigh muscles. hip joints spine release and relax your hand fingers wrist elbow shoulder relax your chest muscles relax your neck muscles relax your facial muscles and relax your mind we are physically relaxed now shift your attention to your tip of the nostril and concentrate on your breath don't control or regulate with each inhalation try to inhale the positive energies from mother earth and exhale negativity try continue focusing on your breath as you continue focusing on your breath you can feel the breath is becoming slower and subtle as your breath is slower and subtle mind is coming calmer and calmer try concentrating on your breath and relax for few more seconds now slowly become aware about your surroundings gently move your hand fingers and leg fingers join your leg together turn to your right make your right hand as your pillow left hand all along your body knee slightly bent you're still continuing your relaxation for another 10 to 15 seconds
when you feel okay with the help of your palm right palm leg form keeping your eyes closed get up and sit in sukhasan rub your palm generate nice heat and keep it on your eyes let the heat sink into your eyes another rub massage your face and gently open your eyes looking at your palm we are completed with yoga asanas now let us move on to pranayama let's start pranayama session come on any comfortable kasal position sukhasana ardha padmasana purna padmasana padmasana spine upright chin parallel to ground hands in dhyan mudra first let us start with ujjayi pranayama it's also called ocean breathing while breathing or inhaling you have to contrast your throat and inhale by giving a gentle vibration to your throat after inhalation you have to hold your breath and bring your chin close to your chest hold it and exhale through your left nostril by sealing your right nostril that is a procedure let us start Close your chin, close your right nasal, exhale your left nasal. Let us move on to second round. Seal your chin. Place your chin, seal your right nostril, place it through left nostril. Let us move on to third round. Inhale, seal it. Place your chin. Close your right nostril and exhale slowly through left nostril. Come back. Now we'll move on to Anuloma Viloma. Alternative nasal breathing. Left hand in Dhyana Mudra, right hand in Chin Mudra. Seal your right nostril with your thumb, right thumb. Inhale through your left nostril, slowly, steadily, fill your abdomen and chest fully, hold it, and exhale through your left nas right nostril by sealing your left nostril very slowly. Now inhale through your right nostril. Hold it. And exhale through the left nostril. Slowly. Now move on to second round. Inhale through the left nostril. Hold. right nostril now inhale through right nostril hold and exhale through left nostril to next pranayama brahmari brahmari exhalation by making humming bee sound by sealing your ears seal your ears by your thumbs respective thumbs 
keep your middle finger in the junction of your eye and nose index finger and your forehead other fingers wherever comfortable inhale and exhale out slowly by making a big sound start now final round inhale deeply and exhale out slowly for longer duration each other spine upright chin slightly raised eye closed let us practice dhyan for a while concentrate on your breathing feel the vibration of your nostril tip while you are inhaling also feel the expansion of your abdomen and stomach during inhalation and the contraction of your chest and abdomen during inhalation keep focusing on your breathing Keep your palm over your 
your eye the heat sink into your eyeball and the rub make a dark chamber in front of your eye briskly open and close 10 times another rub press your chin from down to up another rub press your ears three four times and release another rub for your neck front and back now gently open your palm in front of your eye we go down thanks mother earth for giving us opportunity Thanks for attending our yoga asana videos today. Hope you all would have enjoyed. I request everyone to practice yoga asana regularly and lead a healthy and happy lifestyle. Thank you all.